Hello guys, welcome back to Mufa Suket with Fusion 3D Suket for beginner practice exercise number one. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel here. It will be helpful for us to carrying up. Okay, in this uh, tutorial, I will create a simple 3D gear. You can see the image here, and also you can get this uh, reference image from our Facebook page. Okay, open your Fusion software. And first, I will create a share cell. You can type a C and choose the top line. I will create a share cell in here, in here, and then in here. Next, uh, press D. We give the dimension. This share cell about 100. And this share cell about 85. And then this share cell, this time from this share cell to uh, this share cell about 11. Okay, next I will uh, zoom in. Press L, we create a line for line from here. One, okay, and to here, two, to here, three, and then to here, four line. Okay, right click and okay, and select uh, this line. Right click and change to the construction line. You can click here. Next, uh, type D. We give the degree this line from here about 2.5 okay and this line to here about 5 degree and this line from here about 9 degree okay you can zoom in and then I will create a ORC click here ORC and select the 3 point ORC and select uh, from here to here and then in here okay tap D we give the dimension for this uh, IRC with radius about 15 okay and press L we create line from here to here right click okay and type T we trim uh, this uh, circle okay and we trim in here and then we trim in here Okay, right click OK and then select uh, these uh, three lines, construction line and right click and delete here. Okay, next we use a uh, violet, click here and violet and violet uh, this uh, two line object with a radius about one. Okay, next use a uh, mirror command here, a mirror, select uh, this uh, object okay next select uh, mirror line I will select uh, this construction line you can see and press ok to finish and then next I will use a uh, circular pattern here select uh, this uh, all object okay you can select uh, this all object back here here select here and here okay you can zoom in select here and here and then select here and here okay next select the center point I will select uh, in here okay and then the quantity about 20 and you can see the result next is uh, click ok here to finish the command ok next we extrude uh, the object you can uh, orbit to rotate the object and then I will select uh, this face and extrude about 25 and ok and select uh, this face I will create a circle with the radius about 50 ok Next, uh, we extrude again, select uh, this face with uh, distance about 5. Okay, select uh, this face again, we create a circle with a radius about 40. And then we extrude again here, select uh, this face and move uh, to the bottom here and then type enter. You can see the result here. Use a pilot command. 
tap F and select uh, this edges with uh, radius about 1 ok and I will file it in here tap F and radius about 1 and let's file it in here with radius about 1 and enter ok we finish the drawing now and we will apply a material to the object you can click here model and change to the render here ok next I will give the material you can select here and I will insert a plastic here use the opaque and select this material click hold and drag to the object here ok and I will close and setting the scan you can increase the brightness here or you can increase the exposure in here next I will change the environment into uh, grid like you can click here hold and drag to the image here ok and click the setting again I will increase the brightness ok and then I will close and first I will save the drawing save and the file name is about gear practice 1 and save and then I will try to render in canvas you can click here in canvas render and waiting for the result here ok you also can edit the scan setting here to view the object I will increase here the lightning for the blackness ok you can also increase in the exposure to make it more real ok ok and then close and be waiting for the rendering and you can pause here to stop uh, the rendering process and I think it's enough today for Fusion 3D Skate Modeling for beginner exercise number one and see you next time in Fusion 3D Skate Modeling for beginner exercise number two <music>